<laughs> Welcome to Pirate Radio Broadcast. The Books of the Living God. First written in 1983. Genesis. Day 1. In the beginning, the Lord and the God of the Old Testament created himself himself about 13 to 14,000 earth years ago. Each day of Genesis lasted 1,000 earth years. But in heaven, each day lasted one full day. There is a time difference between earth, time, and space. In earth, 1,000 earth years equals in space one full day. So Genesis, day one. Earth years from one to 1,000, or you could say from zero to 1,000 earth years, is one full day in heaven. Ab alehim ishamayim kadeish ruach mayim kayim. The God of the Old Testament and the Messiah, the Christ, created himself from self. So let's examine the concept of self-creation. If you're an atheist or an evolutionist, this would be a biblical delusion. Delusions of an illusion. Self-creation. But if you examine the proven biologically sound scientific fact that within our human bodies, we possess tissue and blood cells. The skin, when it is cut, when you get a, a cut in your skin, the blood discharging tissue has the power to heal itself from self. Cells are the smallest structural unit of an organism capable of independent functioning. The skin cut heals itself from self. The concept of self-creation. It's a variant of self-creation. But that's how when your skin on your hand, say you accidentally cut yourself, it will eventually heal depending on your immunity, depending on the health of your, your body. But normally, under normal circumstances, the skin tissue that's cut will heal. That is the concept of self-creation. Cells are the smallest structural unit of an organism that is capable of independent functioning. Cells can recreate themselves from self without a mate. Thus, it is a proven biologically sound scientific fact, the concept of self-creation. So if these tissue cells of the skin suffers a blood discharging cut through an open minor bleeding wound, then by the concept of self-creation, the cells have the power to recreate cells in order to heal the bleeding wound. This is the reality of self-creation. If cells of your hand, your tissue, can recreate themselves from self, then really, how illogical is it for the God of the Old Testament, the God of Moses, to recreate himself from self in the beginning? If you're going to be an atheist and evolutionist, you have to examine these details. You cannot just shut the door and say, no, 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 no. No. This is biblical. I'm not going to encourage the biblical theories. 
at any given time, the God of the Old Testament and the Messiah can manifest in this world. You're setting yourselves up, as you may think, I am setting myself up by believing. Heaven is spirit. I existed before I was born. The universe is all existing things regarded as a collective entity. Oxygen, the air, the living soul, and the wind is immaterial entity. It is spirit. Heaven is spirit. All physical entity is spirit condensed. Oxygen and the wind, the air, is spirit in its natural order. Within my lungs I have oxygen. I cannot exist as a physical human body without oxygen, the air and the wind within my lungs. I would die a physical death. But the oxygen within me is not a physical body. It does not die a physical death. So we cannot exist without the non-physical body of oxygen spirit. So there is non-physical and physical coexisting with each other. Like the butterfly and the caterpillar. The butterfly is a caterpillar. The caterpillar metamorphoses into a butterfly. They both coexist, but they are one species. And the metamorphosis from caterpillar into butterfly does not become extinct. So earth is composed of soil substances. Substance is a matter. The matter is that which occupies space and has mass. Mass is a unified body of matter with no specific shape, while space is the distance in which the solar system, the stars and galaxies exist as a universe. The universe is all existing things regarded as a collective entity. The earth is condensed spirit in a physical body, created with a specific design by the God of the Old Testament and the Messiah the Christ. Not by an accident of nature's chaos. The so-called Big Bang Theory is an explosion. Like the atomic bomb of 1945 that ended, that helped to end World War II. Chaos is unstable with a foundation of instability and is incapable of breeding stability. The atomic bomb upon detonation took a specific shape of a mushroom cloud. But because the foundation of the explosion is chaos, instability does not breed stability. The mushroom cloud image dissipated. It could not sustain longevity. So heaven and earth are stable and contain longevity, which requires a foundation of stability. So holy angels were created in the image and likeness of God as spirituality. The Father and the Son, Allahim, are non-physical spirits. So all this is within day one, 1,000 earth years. Genesis, day one. And the earth was without form and void. The archangel Lucifer, the former archangel, was spiritually placed on the earth with the angels. He saw the dinosaurs munching away, I think they were brontosaurus, and he wanted to command them to obey, like David Letterman's stupid Petrix. How can you tell if a dinosaur is obeying? It's munching away on a tree, and the former archangel commands it to obey. Well, maybe it did, but he just could not recognize because his perception of obedience is different than the dinosaur's actual obedience. So perception is the greatest deception. 
he perceived that the dinosaurs did not obey and it angered him. So he wanted the Creator to give him more power, absolute power over the dinosaurs. Stupid pet tricks. So he created lawlessness because he could not perceive the dinosaurs obeying him. Perception is the greatest deception. Lawlessness. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. God created the rain from space into a physical body and filled the earth with bodies of water floods. And from the tiny fragments of living organisms, he created passive dinosaurs within the oceans and the land. So they later developed and that's where the archangel tried to command them and he could not perceive their obedience. And maybe they did obey, but they just were munching away. Their need for self-preservation and the need to obey without anybody knowing that they're obeying. They have their own way of obeying without obeying. So water is a liquid. The oceans are water. Water is a liquid. Liquid is a substance which is spirit condensed from non-physical space. So Satan and his demons, after rebelling and being cast down, found a way to reproduce from the womb of the passive female dinosaurs. There were no predator dinosaurs. They were only passive. So he, as part of the punishment, since he wanted to command the dinosaurs, he was punished. And he was born from the womb of a passive female dinosaur and predators were upon the face of the deep. They ravaged the earth and killed the passive non-meat-eating dinosaurs. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So after being defeated by the Archangel Michael in rebellion, Satan and his demons were cast down to earth and they were bound in physical bodies as predator dinosaurs. And then they died once the Creator unified the clouds, the body of water in the clouds and the body of water in the oceans and brought them together. So Satan was born through the reproductive process from the womb of a female dinosaur. Predator dinosaurs were born, the T-Rex. And on earth the dinosaurs did evil. So like I said, God united the oceans and the land and the skies and the oxygen were dense. Imagine if, if the water and the clouds became as one. What would happen? We would need oxygen tanks. We would need astronaut gear. The oxygen is filled with all sorts of substance that we, upon breathing, would suffocate. So the dinosaurs suffocated and they died. It wasn't a meteorite. A meteorite that could cause such destabilization of the environment would do far more damage to the environment than just some ice age. I mean, it's debatable. You don't have to believe me, it's not my way or the highway, I'm just providing you with information. So Genesis Day 2, Earth years 1001 through 2000 Earth years. Genesis Day 1 was from 0 or 1 through Earth year 1000. 1000 Earth years is one full day in heaven. So Genesis Day 2 is earth years 1001 through 2000 earth years. So God made a firmament separating the waters from the waters. The clouds are a gaseous elements from the skies. The clouds are comprised of water droplets. 
So water is a liquid. Liquid is a substance. Substance is matter. The matter is that which occupies space and has mass. Space and mass are immaterial entity. It is spirit. Spirit is the God of the Old Testament and the Messiah the Christ. So this is day two. Genesis. Day three Genesis. Earth years 2001 through 3000 Earth years. One full day in heaven. So now it's three days. And then day four Genesis. Earth years 3001 through 4000 Earth years. Celestial objects, objects were created. And God saith, let there be lights made in the firmament of heaven to divide the day and the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years to shine in the firmament of heaven and to give of light upon the earth. And it was so done. On the fourth day, the stars, moon from the sun were ignited and shined. And God made two great lights, a greater light to rule of the day and a lesser light to rule of the night and the stars. And he set them in the firmament of heaven to shine upon the earth and to rule the day and the night and to divide the light and the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. The Creator and the Messiah also saith, Let the waters bring forth the creeping creature having life, and the fowl that may fly over the earth under the firmament of heaven. Entity is spirit, and is the basic building block of all creations. Spirit. So, again, I state, the earth is physical, manifested spirit in a physical body. The water within us is a liquid. We can't be human without water within our bodies. It is a liquid. And liquid is a substance. Substance is matter. Matter is that which occupies space and has mass. So space is the distance in which the solar system, the stars and galaxies exist as a universe. And mass is a unified body of matter with no specific shape. You cannot see spirit unless you are allowed to or you become post-human then you can see what is on Mars and all these planets. So the universe is all existing things regarded as a collective entity. Entity is spirit. And God created the great whales and every living and moving creature which the waters brought forth according to their kinds, and every winged fowl according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And he blessed them, saying, Increase it and multiply, and fill the waters of the sea, and let the birds be multiplied upon the earth. And the evening and morning were the fifth day. Genesis, day five. Earth years 4,001 to 5,000 Earth years. One full day in heaven. Man and woman were created as spirits in the image and likeness of the Creator and the Messiah, Spirit. Not flesh yet. They were created in the image and likeness. The image and likeness of God is Spirit. So that means man and woman were created as spirit first. Genesis day 6. Earth years 5,000th and 1 through earth years 6,000th. One full day in heaven. And he saith, Let us make, make of man to our image and likeness. And let him have dominion over the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the air and the beasts and the whole earth and every creeping creature that moveth upon the earth. All of these physical earth beings were condensed entity and had no ability to control the spiritual bodies of man. So they were subject to the authority of immaterial entity, the Creator and the Messiah. 
We have no authority over oxygen. Can you command the oxygen to come here or come thither? Of course not. Thus, we are subject to spirit, the natural law of spirit. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Without its life energy and life sustaining powers, we suffocate. And God, Elohim, Father, and the Son, Christ, created man to his own image, to the image of Elohim, he created him. Male and female, he created them. The Father and the Son, Christ, created them as spirits, male and female, as angels. And God blessed them, saying, Increaseth and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. And rule over the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the air. And all living creatures that moveth upon the earth. And God saith, Beholdeth, I have given thee every herb bearing seed upon the earth, and all trees that have in themselves seed of their own kind to be thine meat, and to all beasts of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to all that moveth upon the earth, and wherein there is life that they may have to feed upon. And it was so done. And God saw all the things that he had made, and they were very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. There was no sin during this time. Not even on the seventh day. There was no sin yet. Genesis. Earth years 6,000 from 1 to 7,000 earth years. One full day in heaven. Man and woman had not sinned yet. They were still spiritual bodies. They were not made from the density of the earth or the rib of man. So the heavens and the earth were finished and all the furniture of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. And he blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made there was no sin yet no transgressions Genesis day 8 earth years 7,000 from 1 to earth years 8,000 earth years and the Lord God formed man of the slime of the earth Slime is the substance of the soil. Man is a mortal soul made from the spirit of space into a physical body. And breathed into his face the breath of life. And man became a living soul, a physical body. And the Lord God had planted a paradise of pleasure from the beginning. Wherein he placed man whom he had formed. And the Lord God brought God brought forth of the ground all manner of trees, fair to beholdeth, and pleasant to eat of, the tree of life also in the midst of paradise, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Satan and his demons, after dying from the predatory dinosaurs, were reincarnated into ocean life. Reincarnation is not a blessing it is a punishment your it is a punishment upon the evil one to be reincarnated from a physical body the dinosaur into now a serpent and the Lord God took man and put him into the paradise of pleasure to dress it and to keep of it and he commanded him say of, of every tree of paradise thou shalt eat but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat. For in what day soever thou shalt eat of it, thou shalt die of the death. Satan, as a spirit, reincarnated, was born in the womb of the predator snake and became a serpent. 
And the Lord God saith, It is not good for man to be alone. For at this time, man was a physical body and woman was still spirit. Let us make of him a help like of unto himself. Man was spirit and made into a physical body, while woman remained in the spirit. And the Lord God, having formed out of the ground all the beasts of the earth, and all the fowls of the air brought them to Adam to see what he would call of them. For whatsoever Adam calleth any living creature, the same is its name. Woman was not given this duty. She was still spirit, and unto her she saw how preoccupied Adam was, and he ignored her for a while. She tugged at his soul whilst to her, You've seen one naked animal, does you've seen them all? She was thinking. Pay attention to me, she wanted. And this became part of her psyche. And Adam called all the beasts by their names, and all the fowls of the air, and all the cattle of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper like himself. He tried talking to her. He felt awkward. He tried holding her. He felt empty, his arms. He tried walking hand in hand. He felt just something was not right. What Adam wanted was his invisible woman, but in a physical body. He was tired of walking hand in hand with a ghost, and in the reflection of the water he felt delusional. Then the Lord God cast a deep sleep unto Adam, and when he was fast asleep, he took one of his ribs and filled up flesh for it. And the Lord God built the rib which he took from Adam into a woman, and brought her to Adam. Yes, you could say Adam lived to regret it. And Adam saith, this now is bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Woe, man! Wherefore a man shall leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his this wife, and they shall be two. But Satan, as spirit, was born through the reproductive process from the womb of a female snake as a predator. He used telepathy to communicate with the woman. Telepathy is an ancient communication formed from non-verbal spoken words, and the serpent played upon the ignorance of her arrogance and gave her the fruit of the sin, and like a true puppet, Adam sinned. The six thousand of earth year curse of man began on day eight, Genesis, because on day seven, when God rested, he sanctified. There was no sin on day seven. So that means the sin was on day eight. Adam and Eve had a son, Cain. And within the first 130 years of day eight, Genesis birthed a second son, Abel. And Cain killed Abel. God punished Cain and sent him to live in the east side of Eden. By this time, the body of the serpent was dead. So from the womb of the passive female ape, Satan was born with his demons in the east side of Eden from these primitives, ape-like, human-like creatures. The first of their kind, Sasquatch. So Satan and his demons were born from the womb of passive apes into predators. Cain wed the daughter of Satan, an ape-like, human-like creature named Lucy. Cain was the first human to have 
Oh, sex with a demon ape. She must have been pretty enough. Probably put a paper bag over her head and enough liquor in his body to just do it. And they had children. Adam at age 130. Genesis day 8, earth year 7130. Begot Seth, after his parents had more children including daughters. Seth was the first man to have sex with a teen girl and she had children. God created the first religion in order to regulate humans and protect humans from humans. As time went by, humans began creating their own religions, governments, and in time, tribal disputes began to occur. Land grams, no rights for females, forced marriages, bans, and other wars versus tribal farmers and governments. So Seth, at the age of 105, begot Enos. Earth year is 7,235. And during the next 807 years, Seth and the little beast that he had married from Cain's tribe, they had many more pups. So Seth died in the earth year. 8,042 at age 912. So let's examine the Cain and Satan theory of evolution, which states that man is an animal without divine genesis or soul. That such a theory would also give truth and significance to the racist propaganda of plantation heiress owners. Slavery. It was based on a theory. They were convinced that the black-skinned African slaves that were captured from black Africans and black Africans either got rid of them through slavery or killed them. Ethnic cleansing. So all the black Americans who are here is because the black Africans that captured the black Africans for the sake of land by selling them into slavery. The option, can you imagine if all the slave owners had said no, we don't want these Africans? The Africans would have killed the captured Africans. There would be no black Americans. If anyone owes reparations to black Americans, it is Africa. They were the ones that captured black Africans and got rid of them either through ethnic cleansing or slavery. So that the black-skinned African slaves that were extradited from the dark continent of Africa were cousins to the black-skinned apes, according to the theory of slavery and slave owners. Chimpanzees and monkeys that accompanied the slaves on the slave ships and selective extra extractions. So if man is an animal without a divine creation, then automatically you must also concede that the black-skinned African slave is also an animal without a soul. And that to enslave is to be enslaved and to be oppressed is to be oppressed, such as animals, which are placed in a cage, in zoos, are segregated. The theory of the human animal, if man is a primate, then the concept of slavery and segregation is natural law. If it is natural to take animals and put them on in cages with a leash and they are property in zoos, then are humans apes? Will you go up to a black man and say in the projects, you are an ape after he beats you you will regret believing that humans are apes. You cannot accuse black people of being apes without being called a racist. So what do you do? What can you do? So this is the theory that slavery and segregation was based upon. Darwin and Huxley merely borrowed from the beliefs of slave owners 
It wasn't unique. They didn't just come up with the idea of survival of the fittest. They based it on something that they were familiar with. Yes, you can say humans are primates, but can you go up to black people and say they are apes and monkeys and chimpanzees? You will get beaten. Where do you go from there except to the ER with your evolutionary beliefs and your theories of the primate? So do you exclude black people and only say that white people and Latinos and Asians are primates and black people are exempt? That is a very deviant way of maneuvering. So black people are not human? They're not primates? This is the whole problem of Darwin and Huxley and evolutionists. Are humans animals? And if so, then does that justify segregation and slavery? And can you deviate and say, no, those laws were just based on racism? Come on, people. Don't give me wheeling and dealing. It's like saying, oh, we believe in digital currency, but we don't believe in paper money. What are you going to do? Get rid of paper money and just have digital currency? You're playing with the most recognized currency in the world, the American dollar, for the benefit of digital currency that many millionaires and billionaires are just trying to devalue the American dollar, because that's what it's based upon. It's not based upon any reasoning. People who have the common sense of a bug are messing around with the accepted currency of the world, the American dollar. Just like the whole concept of slavery and segregation and black people today wanting to be reparations when they were not slaves. If I were a slave looking down, I would say, why should you get paid? I'm the one who went through slavery. You're just going around wanting to buy marijuana and drugs. The slaves would give anything to trade places with modern day black people. And modern day black people just want, they just want to get paid. They don't care. They don't really care about the slaves. It's just another way of Cha-ching! Now I'm going to stop it here because there will be another video in the future where I will continue with this discussion of the Books of the Living God which was written in 1983 through today. This is Armin with Pirate Radio Broadcast. Hope you have enjoyed part one of the Books of the Living God. Thank you.